What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm installing a condensation pump, or actually I already did as you can see right there. But the reason for the video is because sometimes when we install these fan coils or pancake units, whatever you call them in your part of the country, you can run into what happened here, which was the drainage of the building is higher than the drainage of the uh, new fan coil. Of course, when you install these, you always want to make sure that they're higher than the drainage of the structure, but sometimes you just can't. For example, in this scenario, uh, above this, this uh, coil, or this fan coil, there was the um, uh, load-bearing trusses of the structure, so those cannot be moved or cut. And uh, so in this scenario, we pretty much just install a condensation pump right here that it will just, the coil will just now drain into the pump and the pump will, you know, do its thing and pressurize the drainage or the water from the drain and into the drainage of the structure, forcing it out the side of the house. And of course, here it is installed. This is for informational purposes this is not a DIY if you notice my videos are not typically DIY videos because I don't think a homeowner should be getting into this into this type of work okay not even handymans or even contractors general contractors are allowed typically in most parts of the country to do this type of work so that kind of tells you that if you're a homeowner you may just want to hire a pro but anyways if you're a pro, this video is kind of for you. So this is a 120 pump. I don't know why they ordered it that way. It's fine. We wire it up, you know, with the 120 outlet. You know, in a 120, you just grab your white, your green, and you go to your ground here. And don't that this, don't let this fool you. This is a ground. And um, so you go there, and then you know your black or your line side. Well, you just go to any line on your uh, power block there you see that so that's pretty much it that's for all the technicians out there as always be careful you know power has obviously been off but um, that's pretty much the way you install it do a quick kind of like a walk around this just kind of dropped in 90 into this this is a very snug fit don't let it fool you it's very very snug here so you got to maybe about a half inch if that between that and the frame um, it's not easy, but this is how it's done. Okay, and then there you see, the focus is, you can see my rubber hose with a hose clamp there already tightened up. Same thing with this bad boy. There's a special fitting right there, and that pressurizes it. Very important, you cannot have a T, okay? Do not have a T anywhere, because if you have a T, well, you know, what can happen is um, the water's going to shoot up that T. So I got rid of the T that was here. And, you know, this was installed by the previous team that was out here. Um, I'm not going, to, I didn't take it off because it was already glued in. And as you can see, there's not very much room there. But uh, this was actually unnecessary because if we're putting a pump in, all you need is a straight line because it's just going to pressurize it and, you know, shoot the water out the side of the house. So it does not need a trap. And there it is with, you know, the cover back on. Ends up looking pretty clean. That's how you want it to look when you're all completed. Well, all right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, send this to a tech. You always really want to test your pump. So, you know, fill, fill up a water bottle, throw some water in there. Typically, it's like three or four that it takes to actually kick on and then, you know, go to the side of the house and make sure it's draining. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you on the next one. Peace.